Penn State is the only place in the U.S. where you can get a Ph.D. in acoustics. Positive, positive, the spot for the waves. We are solely focused on this broad topic of acoustics. So every single course we offer, all of our research, everything is in acoustics. And that gives students a really strong foundation in the fundamentals of acoustics. So they are really set to then study in whichever area they choose to do research. I was looking into the names on the papers that I read, and surprisingly enough, a rather large number said, Penn State by the name, and so I was like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. I asked everybody, where should I go? And everybody started with, well, there's always Penn State. Every single person. We are the best place to study acoustics and nothing but acoustics. If you really want to know acoustics, we are the program to come to. Really, it's a range of areas, underwater acoustics, sonar, noise, propagation, musical instrument acoustics, there's a huge range. Most of our students have two or three job offers when they're competing or looking for employment. I was the first graduate of the graduate program in acoustics. I just recently retired after 50 years of working in the field. So the program started in 1965. The then president of the university, Dr. Eric Walker, had been the individual who brought the Applied Research Laboratory here at Penn State after the World War II. So he, he was a major figure of research for the Navy in acoustics. John Johnson was the director of ARL at the time. He put the program together. With the exception of light and electricity and magnetism, it's hard to imagine a topical area that doesn't touch on a broader range of subjects than acoustics. Just about every field of human endeavor is impacted by acoustics, vibration, sound. I was involved in the beginning into the creation of the program, mostly uh, setting what coursework needs, what exams needed, and what's needed for a degree. I wrote a letter to this guy named Leo Branick, who we all know as the godfather of acoustics. And he wrote me back a three-page letter in handwriting that said, here are the top schools in the United States, and that's what led me to going to Penn State. I think I was Jerry Tishy's second PhD student to graduate. We didn't have handheld calculators. We were still using slide rules. We all knew each other, and we were involved in helping each other with the same research. <laughs> We know everybody, everybody gets along most of the time. We like to hang out with each other, the students study together, we're doing collaborative projects together. It's a neat family and community to belong to. It was a flexible program for working professionals. I was able to take my classes mostly through distance education. In the natural environment. <laughs> the distance education side of what we do is 27 years old. It's one class, resident students, distance education students are seeing exactly the same experience. It's just the distance education students may be sitting in Singapore or Canada or Chile or Florida instead of sitting in central Pennsylvania at a desk. One of the strengths was the cross-pollination among different disciplines uh, that happens in the research that each individual is doing. I thought it was an amazing environment. They really wanted you to focus and work with teams and work with other individuals in the program to sort of help each other understand and learn. They are all over the place. They're in the industry, they're in government, they are professors in universities, some of them have their own companies. Uh, they're, they're very successful. There's a certain camaraderie because if you go to any acoustics meeting anywhere in the world, it's very likely that you'll be running into graduates from Penn State. 50 years is quite a long time to have a lot of graduate students. To learn the fundamentals and be able to apply that to a variety of problems is really interesting and it keeps you engaged for your entire career. If you really want to focus on all aspects of what we do in the acoustics world, we're a great place, the best place to be. One of the things the program has contributed to is the leadership of the profession through professional societies. We're known across the country for doing acoustics and, and great work. We're one of the best or the best programs uh, in the world because they're learning so much fundamentals. It's a major force in acoustics education in the United States. I don't think there is any, anything that rivals it. The fact that it's turning 50, I guess, is inevitable. So, so we're glad that it's, that it's still here and going strong. Happy 50th anniversary. 
something. It's been a pleasure to be a part of this program.